Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is V and I am a fully qualified actuary. It has been more than 10 years since I first had my corp job and then my first public job uh, as an actuary professional. So in order to help you understand the beginning of the path to become an actuary, uh, I would like to introduce you to Kiana. Uh, she is currently in her last year uh, in university studying actual science and she also recently had experience working as an intern in a life insurance company in Canada. Kiana also has a YouTube channel featuring uh, various content including the actual profession and her lifestyle. So yes, let's welcome uh, Kiana to today's episode of the Careers in Math series, Get to Know the Professional. Kiana. Hi, how are you? So thank you for being here today. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself? So my name is Kiana Byfield. I am a final year student at McMaster University. I just completed a 16 month internship at one of the top life insurance companies in Canada. I did a bit of work in the pricing department and then I worked in the development on the development team as well. Um, outside of being an, an actuarial intern, I make YouTube videos as well, all about day in the life of an actuarial intern. I also am a part of an organization called IEBA, which stands for the International Association of Black Actuaries. I'm their university outreach coordinator. And yeah, that's a bit about me. So what made you decide to study actuarial science in the first place? Um, so I guess I've actually known about the profession since I was about 14. Um, when I, I went to high school in Jamaica and Columbia University visited us to kind of, you know, just let students know all about Columbia. And they did a presentation on their top majors and their top departments and actuarial science was one of them. So I've always been very big on math mainly because I, I wasn't interested in biochem or physics. And those are the courses that I took outside of math. Um, and so, yeah, when I heard about that, I was really drawn towards it because before that, all I ever really thought you could do with math was be a teacher. Um, and yeah. Yep, same here as well. So I was very surprised and well, pleasantly surprised to know that you can actually do a lot of yeah. jobs by studying math. Yeah, for sure. So you were an intern for a life insurance company in Canada. So can you describe your work as an intern a little bit more? And how was your experience? Okay. Um, yeah, so I had a really good experience with this company. It was my first internship, so it was very new for me. And the reason I actually went into doing the internship was because I felt like what I was learning at school, it, it just made me feel like I wouldn't like being an actuary. I was very unsure because we weren't really learning that many things that were applicable. We were just learning a lot of abstract math, um, which is usually what you take in upper year math courses. So at the internship, I, I in the first department that I worked in, which was a pricing role, we learned a lot about, well, I learned a lot about business development, product development. I was able to work alongside my leader at the time to see how to come up the, the back work that you do when coming up with new products, which was really interested, interesting for me because I'm really big on product development. Um, and then for the second part of my internship, so the final eight months, I decided to kind of challenge myself and join the development team because coding has never been a strong suit of mine and the development team was always known to be the place to go for that. Um, so that team was definitely more of a challenge for me just because it did require more thinking outside the box and problem solving, um, but it, it was definitely a lot of fun. I learned a lot of like Excel VBA. I gained a lot of experience there. And yeah, I definitely learned a lot all across the 16 months. Yeah, that's great to hear. Like I believe um, problem solving and also coding would be the skills that we own as actuaries and as well like other professional need to be equipped yeah. for the future. I definitely agree. So you are a member of the Internet Association of Black Actuaries. So I would like to uh, share with our audience a little bit more about this. So can you tell us a little bit more about the organizations and your involvement? Right. Um, so I joined IABA Toronto in 2019 in January. And this was their like founding year for the affiliate that's found in Toronto. We also have an affiliate in Montreal. And basically we represent the entire organization, which 
the purpose is to you know provide resources and just make themselves available to aspiring actuaries and even actuarial professionals because I'm the youngest on my affiliates team everyone else is has definitely been working um for quite a bit but I, you know I joined because I found it was a really good networking opportunity for me at first, especially because I was still so unsure of if I wanted to be an actuary. So it was really great to be involved. And, you know, if students want to get involved, we also do like student, student ambassador programs. Like I mentioned in the intro, I am the university outreach coordinator. So if you ever want to be involved, you can reach out to me directly on LinkedIn. Um, but yeah, we basically, the organization in general, they provide sponsorships for students. They provide uh material for students they'll help you get connected with mentors we have career fairs networking events majority of the work and the events that they host they are based in the u.s but that is why you know we created the toronto affiliate the montreal affiliate i know we want to get other ones going in different provinces and different areas so yeah that's a bit about what we do yeah, so I'm glad to see you are active in this area. Like, I do think participating in extracurricular activities in volunteer are very beneficial, like both yeah. for our personal and professional development. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So last but not least, as someone got their like a first actual job in the past two years, so do you have any tips for other actuarial students who are looking for their first co-op or internship? Um. So I guess the first thing would be, you know, the biggest question people always get curious about is like exams and stuff. Um, I was lucky enough to get my internship without having exams, but I think that's because I tried to push other areas. So for example, I, I was really, I know I'm really good with like networking and getting to know people. So I would say, you know, on top of developing your technical skills and things to put on your resume, when you go to networking conferences or you talk to recruiters, definitely show personality. It really helps with getting you hired because they're also looking for people to hire, not just a resume, right? Um, they're looking for people that can get along well with others because you're going to be working not only by yourself, but working on a team. Uh, in regards to, I guess, things that preparing the technical skills, I still will say I don't think I learned that much in university that I actually used in the job field. In university, I learned a lot of Python and I believe Python is used at some companies. Um, I just didn't use it at all. And I, I still will say, I think hands down, based on what all my friends have told me, Excel VBA is definitely one of the top ones to learn. Um, but again, like once you know one language, it's definitely easy to transfer skills. But I would really say to get familiar with coding you can't avoid it. I was on two teams and, and I used it in both. Um, and then, you know, also focus on those softer skills that will help you out in general in the profession. So a lot of attention to detail, problem solving, um, communication skills. Those are things that, you know, when we write it on the resume, on, on our resumes, we just include it, but it really will show how well your problem solving skills and your communication skills are when you're in the moment, because sometimes, especially around like project season, when deadlines are due, it can get very hectic. And most companies, or at least based on my experience, even though I was an intern, I definitely was treated like someone else on the team. So I was, I had as much responsibility as everyone else. So yeah, I would say definitely to conclude, um, brush up on all your technical skills, but don't overlook the softer skills and be personable with everyone so you can get along well and communicate with everyone. I totally agree. Like we need to develop both the technical and the soft skill in order to be a well-rounded actuary. And this work for not just to uh, be in the actual science area, but like in other professional as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for being here today and sharing your experiences and for your tips. So I hope everyone find today's video helpful, especially for those who are looking uh, in an actual profession and those are just at the beginning uh, path to become an actuary. So again, uh, I wish you a very productive week ahead. And if you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comment section. And I will see you in the next week videos. Bye.